state of righteousness in, in, in the Christian faith, Ethiopia and His Majesty would be on the same side, right? Yeah. Slaying the dragon. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Just give me a minute here. You mean Russia army? Um, yeah, the Russian yeah. Orthodox. I'm going to tell you why the communists feel. You see, in 1941, June 21st, 1941, if you're going to check it still, when you um, watch the World War I with the original narrative because they're changing figures, but there's over 6 million German soldiers invaded the Soviet Union. 500,000 of them were Finnish soldiers. So fin got Finland, uh, go back in a NATO. It's a Finland right after fight the war with the Ukraine, right? That's a look at big, big problem. Finland gone back in a NATO. So in 1941, 500,000 Finns, 800,000 Romanian, what they call a European army. That's what they call, you, you hear the term in the Ukraine, or the international army go fight the Russians. You'll find all those people, elements of those people from that same nation that invaded the Soviet Union. Over six million men. Horses, the whole, the largest army the world had ever seen. This is why the Bible, when the apostles see through the Bible, they're frightened. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So these we can see the violence, right? That's upon the documentary. If you bring it up to time. So, when the German invaded with this force, there were three, the army was split into three. Army Group North, Army Group Center, Army Group South, right? So Army Group Center also followed the path of Napoleon a hundred years ago and head from Moscow, right? So in Army Group Center is on the way and the communists now, through them, don't believe in God. They don't have no strength. They relied on their technology. And the German mash up that surround. In, in all, by the time the the German army reached Smolensk, right, and um, for, by the time that's halfway to Moscow, by the time they reached Smolensk, <coughs> they capture over three to five million Russian soldiers. And Stalin a panic, probably all shit himself, he not believe in God, nobody to pray to for strength or anything, no inspiration but your mechanical force. Mm. And then, to how I view it in my That's research, something. That is something else, yeah. just give me a minute here. In my research, I saw an American producer, a US Army produced video called Why We Fight. And on that video, they covered the war with Russia. And the American narrators showed the part where the Archbishop of Russia, this is after the communists, the Germans are just at the door, like so them do, do, just don't have and things or something. And they call on the Archbishop Sergei of Moscow, the Metropolitan of Moscow, the head Orthodox um, priest for the Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. They called upon him and he said a prayer asking for the victory of the cross over the Nazi swastika. Their old ally, the Russian winter, had carpeted the Russian land. While in the churches of Russia, men of God prayed for victory against the invader. Victory of the cross, and the cross where people love to despise yeah. the Archbishop of Russia, the communist pattern, our general them fields, Stalin have to shoot enough of them because the Russian cap the, the Germans capture over five million Russian soldiers within that space of time. Mm -hmm. So when the Archbishop make the prayer, now you're gonna have the Battle of Moscow, which is the one before this, before um. Let me tell you about the Basque, Battle of Moscow, the, the army, the German army that went in there, you know, they were victorious, they conquered um, Poland in three weeks, France get run over, mm -hmm. 
Belgium. Quick, 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 quick. The English fled across the channel from yeah, all of them things, everybody did. Well, so is it Putin was trying to do it all with Ukraine and this trip or something? Well, on, they were, yeah, don't hold well, on them on. Just hold on a minute. Because this European army or where they my farm is going to lose. Mm. Just hold on a minute. Because they're following Napoleon, Napoleon's pathway. You see, I don't believe the propaganda. The conventional war. Convict, they're trying to conquer the land in the east. You know, not because they are communists. Mm. When Napoleon invaded Russia, they weren't communists. In the 11th century, when the Germanic Teutonic Knights, which are the Catholic Teutonic Knights, when they invaded Russia, they weren't communists, they were orthodox. I don't follow propaganda. So when this victorious German army invaded the Soviet Union and the Battle of Moscow was on, they're going to taste their first defeat, their first bitter defeat, them and them European army. Amount to quarter million, 500,000, over half a million casualty alone. And Stalin line up the prisoner, them, make them march, march through Moscow. To show you them, you can I'm show it, you can, you can see. So, my point is now, if the since the you know Stalin general them didn't have a plan and them caused so much casualty and misunderstanding in battle and confusion, who won the prize? Wouldn't be the cross that given yeah. the victory yeah. instead of the hammer and sickle, mm -hmm. which, which is the victory, every time which victory them put up yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, the one with that, uh, the, the one that sent, no, the Christian um, emblem. The, the Christian emblem. Yes. Thank you, my yeah. virgin. Yeah, yeah, but what, 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 for them, for, for them, for them. Like any Christian emblem, neither yeah. the Christian emblem of like Ethiopia, the Orthodox one. one. Yeah, the Orthodox one. Right, because it's Ethiopia emblem, Saint George, Kiddus. Yeah, 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 then it's my yeah. it's the patron of the yeah. Ethiopia. That's why and you have the Saint George it. cross of solid rock yeah. in Ethiopia. Right, right. Lale, lale, lale. And that's why you have. Idus Georg is in the center of Addis Ababa. This one now in war is seven side it have. So that's why even when, when certain of it's off, that's when, when Marcus Garvey did say the fool is still as you gone go pray. Well him now it, it defeat. Okay, before we oh, I'm glad they bring that up, sister. Yeah, because that, you know, yeah. Marcus Garvey is supposed to be with Jamaican national hero and all of that, but in his ignorance and lack of knowledge. I don't care what anybody wants to say. He's ranting against His Majesty and condemning the Lion of Judah play right into the fascist propaganda. Mm. He was, yeah. yeah. I can show you fascist cartoon know them you know, just like you know them used to do the African American like with them uh, Negro features like, them, like, I I them do, them do like I saw them do like I saw them look like yeah, them do under the Jim Crow yeah. thing. So, mm. so you, them, yeah. them have them same cartoon they have his majesty. Yeah, yeah. Some of them. Right? Yeah. And Marcus Garvey contributed to that, right? Yeah. You don't think so by that time? No. The whole of the whole of the Western region did start get by, by the Nazis, then they start in the middle of the battle. Yeah. Right? In other parts, you know, after the war, after the Second World War done on the 5th of May, most, um, most um, people who collaborated with the enemy were shot. So, so you, you are saying then that him going to meet with the Ku Klux Klan was clear evidence that him then gone to here? Well, no, God, were you meeting with the no. Ku Klux Klan for? What does that have to do with upholding the head of Haile Selassie? Because, Haile because it, 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 it was highly polarizing and one was... He was a two black man, supreme, you know. supremacy and the other one is white supremacy. You understand? I see Yeah, but he man. put himself in place. Of I'm not the even going to when him. Black, um, what do you call it? No, black leader. He said he was the leader, the president for all black people. But he, when you check the history, he wasn't necessarily sending, taking black people towards Ethiopia. He was looking for any other place to carry them. Just like you have some leaders in the past, mm -hmm. he then carry some more de de desert. Like, like a Jim Jonish kind yeah, of thing. Like a, that's what it would come out to be. And the women of the organization, which they were more than and very much dedicated, beg him. But it, it's understood Don't that do it. it's understood as a seven mile of black star line, I don't know. That yeah, is, but that is okay. I don't want to get off the topic mm. of Prokhorovka. Mm. Okay. 
I don't want to get out of that topic because they're fighting there now. Yeah, yeah but you see, you see. war is going on there now. That for sure is uh, this war that began. The Second World War began with the um, the invasion of Ethiopia, the third of uh, October, nineteen thirty-five. There's many sources that say that mm. on camera, in print. Many sources tell you that. Even that same U.S. Army video, it began the war. Um, why we fight? You tell you, the narrator tell you it began with Italy. Right. So on the third of um, October, nineteen thirty-five. 350,000 um, Catholic fascist soldiers because it's a religious war as well because you know why we know it's a religious war we covered the event already when we did um, Miskarem the king did just crown and everything set up there the Rome came and paid homage mm -hmm. yeah. homage, homage. Right? yeah the homage thing to pay homage to the Christian king of Ethiopia mm -hmm. who sits under the sign of the cross under the Upon the throne of David. Upon the throne of David. That's what Rome came and paid homage to. Yeah. In September 19, September 27, 1927. Um, then by the time those couple months later, the Catholic calm the, the, the Pope um, Pius the Eleventh. He's the he's the known Nazi one. They signed at the Lateran Pact, 1928, the Lateran <laughs> Pact, and they renounced, <laughs> brethren, they renounced their fidelity to the king of Ethiopia, when to the Ethiopian the Orthodox Pact. faith. Yeah. <clears throat> they renounced their fidelity to the Christian foundation, mm. the one that has the heavenly authority, the biblical authority. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia has that so that's what the war is going to be all about so when they made that plan they never knew <coughs> so they never knew it would become a world war they think so them could have just you know because you know they, they don't see you no know, large armies or it's just a yes, Christian so nation whatever. people are pre Christians yeah. you have Muslims there <coughs> and you know you have Jews there from and they're gonna stir up the people there so they feel them feel so they could have this overcome it and live up labor after. Yeah. It never worked that way because at the League of Nations is mad yeah. So the damage they did to Ethiopia during the war like spraying mustard gas. Oh Lord. Oh Lord from World War One. You ever see them World War One video there? When I'm sure the swell of them were blinded by mustard gas. Mm -hmm. And Burn. this was just on a battlefield. Eh? Where you know them use them for artillery shells and so forth. When it came to Ethiopia, they had special planes. You know, you see them planes with spray banana, banana walk yard. Yeah, yeah. Right? Spray plane. That's what them gonna fly over the countryside. Yeah. Spray Fast. people, spray land, spray wow. animals, Mussolini. pies in the water. Uh, yeah. Right? And Mussolini did say kill all those that wearing the cross. Yeah, that was actually, that order is, what do you call it, right, what do I call it, fascist orders and church blessing. Yeah. With church blessing. With, yeah. with church blessing, yeah. to yeah. carry out that order, to yeah. kill everyone in the Christian yeah. land, Israel. we are in the cross of Christ. Israelite and you see, the thing is, during the war, to the, our people, because, you know, we real up down there still the rastas are those who was for the emperor and them go ask them what them what what is this oh people say oh the pope couldn't did know them not a them boy. yeah right. oh he couldn't know he not I, I, but just, we see the the, the order where the, the i see secret is secret um control. blessing the tank there no, yeah. on action and his commander reluctantly ordered the black shirts to begin the prestigious march on the undefended town of Makale. Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis. Men and metal received the chaplain's blessing, and the fascist crusade took its civilizing mission south. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus. In nomine Patris et Fili 
et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, in, because they were in a pack, you know, secret. Yeah, the lan the latter in pack. Um, and we the latter in pack. It yeah. is written in the book of Habakkuk that their their intention was to devour the poor secretly. That was Ethiopia really. Ethiopia. So when we even you hear Busta say they need to know that was all. that and lie that they all you know, no matter what, you know, your life, take it to the grave, kill yourself, here is a pill before you confess. <laughs> that is, is some serious. A lie tell him. Some Why I know say lie ma tell him, wouldn't it give the order to bring in the Rastafarians, yeah. right. they are alive. Right. Because he know the Rastafarians are saying, Selassie is Christ, right. Selassie is yeah, God. He know, he knew that. So it's, yeah. a biblical, it. it's a biblical, you know. Yeah. They're trying to get away from it, but oh, what are these oh, events oh, sur surrounded? But he, op he openly supported the Catholic, the Catholic over 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 Christian Ethiopia. He so openly did that. It can't yeah. hide. Yeah, it's not, not, not a secret. He openly did that. All right. So how, how different is on inner the earth? Roger, how different? You you know, may I ask you as a Jamaican for him, are you a national hero? No. How different is his order to bring in the Rastafarians dead or alive? and that of the Pope's order in 1935 and bless him to kill all Ethiopians wearing the cross of our Lord and Savior Jesus kill. Christ. Kill. Is it the same order? It sounds familiar? Are the same thing? Yeah, like the, like the one kill all the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Are the same thing? It sounds yeah, familiar. Of course. It sounds familiar, of right? Of course. Okay. I, let me tell you something. Last week before last, Hello? I hear them play it on the television. The Russian commander is giving the soldier them who is on the battlefield to kill them all, civilian and everybody. And it, 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 it is coming over the air. Everybody must be dead. All the person them spear must be the old, the old people them, them get to see what it take place. And that them say. Everybody must be. Who are report that he was at? Well, that is one thing. The problem is, based upon the one thing, is only if it is the truth, regardless of who is reporting it. It is only, All right. it is only the truth that, that carry the weight. It's not who reporting it. That is which part the problem is and which part them cross over in terms of discreditation, and, 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 and who is these are the problems so is this a discreditation the Saint John who slew the Nazis in, in no, no, the Russians to slay the Nazis in um, Perkorovka that, well that is there now as a symbol in terms of, of the victory over evil yeah but, fascist evil right right yeah. right absolutely right because yeah. remember the communists Feel, you know, there's other evidence when the, the Russian them going out to buckle, they make the sign of the cross mm -hmm. and hide from the, the communist commissar mm -hmm. because then we shoot them. But them did find out, oh, you see the second battle of um, Kiev or what they were called Kharkiv, right? There was a big battle there. The Russians lost a lot of soldiers there. This is right, the second battle was going on now. Nah, there's a documentary that show you. You know, they call, you know, vodka and them big yeah. cigar the way they can't calm the nerves. So they found this picture of the Virgin Mary with the twelve apostles. And the soldier them start to kiss it and make the sign of the cross and then you know Stalin make a turn your blind eye because they start to get courage. The sign of the cross once more gave them courage. Yeah, I heard them I heard them testi testify just like that. Yeah. It gave them I am here too. It didn't way I was trying to tell you the other day. When I see these things in I I, I try to explain them and try to put them forward. <clears throat> so well, you yes, said they want to the propaganda what's going on now with this buckle. You say I look at it from a religious perspective also. That the Russians weren't just communists or um Judeo Bolsheviks, some of them were Orthodox Christians who fought to destroy the dragon. That's Here amazing. it is in Eastern yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. So, is that what I was saying to you the other day when they were showing Putin private palace on the TV? They were showing 
is 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 comprised them money and wealth and they show in his own now and they show this big 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 new palace but just build up and it look like it it just look like it just look like so like I said end like this it's shaped like this and you see at the back here so the letter there's a L you see this you see this last letter here the palace shaped like this and at the back here you have a church right or so the church is this then build it off of this replica. This is what you see in the background at the palace. And I'm saying to myself, but this is the Orthodox Church, it's not just to stand up in front of you know, the library. Because when I'm, when I'm showing it upwards, so you know, you see the, you see the place, and then them, them, them go back more, and when them look now, them say, this is his chapel. And when you look at it, you don't see nothing else but this. Yeah. That's how you see. I'm just gonna say, say but I know say, in our in in our, in, our, in our the whole and the whole of Russia, seventy five percent of them is 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 Orthodox Christian. And them respect Ethiopia. May I tell you that? Yes. And, they and that is important for me. Yes. You see, the, the, these people want my opinion. I'm speaking to personal experience, person. Me too. Yes, this, well, this I, I've this seen their come to acknowledge firsthand. Yeah, I've it. seen their respect for Ethiopia. Yes. I've seen it. That's yes. why, you know, my inquiries on, you know, because of Alexander Pushkin, yeah. the father of, of Russia. Uh, Ethiopian is the father of Russian, Russian literature. literature. Yeah, man. We, I, have, we have to weird that in the judgment Rajas, still. I hear what you say. I hear, I hear what you say. 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 I I don't even know a Nazi person, but I feel the vibes. Me know a Nazi, I work with a German you person. You, you feel this, it's like there's no play in a fitting way. You understand? I never work with a German yet. Yes. We work with German woman, and we work with... Have you worked with a German, so a veteran from World War II? No. I have worked with one of no. them. I've worked with one. I don't, I, I don't, I, I just know that, I, I can't tell you absolutely yes. I work with I one of them. I don't think so. Right? You know me already, when it comes to World War II, I'm, oh, that's where you come from, I want to know some history. I want to ask you a question. What is the swastika doing on Lalibela? Because it's a cross. It's a cross. Okay. They call it the, the German one, the Nazi one, the okay. crooked cross. Yeah. But because the same sign of the Trinity, it's 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 a German symbol, but it's the sign of it, it, it is the sign of the Trinity. I yeah, but the, did you hear what I just said? They call the Nazi one the crooked cross. Yeah. Because in India they also use the yeah. swastika. Yeah. In their religion. Yeah, yes. they, it's, they it's, a, it's, a, it's a very powerful sign. Yeah, it's a religious yeah. symbol. Because but they sharp, call right? the German and it's turned that it's turned the, the opposite other way. way. The opposite way. Anti clockwise. Yeah, it's a crooked cross. Yeah. Not the real cross, the crooked cross. Oh maybe that's like why they them always like the no, well, not maybe that's why them always attach when they're going to celebrate um Mescal in Italy, they always put the term shoe cross. Shoe cross yeah, versus yeah, which yeah, other cross they might talk about. Which cross? Because the, the cross that the Archbishop of Moscow prayed in the name of. Yeah, that's why if so, Roger, the, the St. George in here in Ukraine, is this a Ethiopian symbol? Yes. Okay. So which side of the buckle? It's going on. Sorry. You know, you know Sorry. when you come to the realization. Yeah. That Jesus is a man. Remember, said they did. She they didn't know that Jesus is a man. No. You mean to them? Not, them it's just like this sound like the black woman. We can You say that everyone want big up black woman as big up mother of creation, but the the um the number one black woman in America, the judge, you can't define a woman. Yeah. Cannot define a woman, so whoever prays black woman to she or, or go back to the original woman Ethiopia. And you so can't define life neither. The reason why she as a black woman cannot define womanhood is because mm. she is not Ethiopia that stretched forth her hands unto God. The woman of God stretched forth her hands unto God. This is how you have to understand the 68 Psalms and understand Ethiopia's relation with God. 
and especially at the time of war, where the, 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 the dragon came to kill Mariam's nation, the Christian foundation. That's what that war is all about. It was, it was against her from the beginning. Yeah, and her child. Was a child come, pant up away. Yeah, the, who's Mariam's child? That's why the war was fought. That's what the war and he, the, the child was born to rule, right? This is not talking yeah. about going to on the cross. This is called about the child born to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And he was caught up unto God. He was elevated mm -hmm. unto the throne. So you, you can, for those who honestly want to know the history of his majesty from childhood, he was elevated all the way up to the Godhead, mm -hmm. up into the name mm -hmm. of the Trinity. But at the time when he was Nigus king, the king, the, as in the noun and so forth, when he, Rome came to pay homage to him, when he come pay, to pay homage to a king, a Christian king, Fidelity. that means you are the vassal state. Yeah. He is the Lord, mm -hmm. you are the vassal. That's right. That's how this thing is set up. Hierarchy. But then when the vassal say uh, him, him no one be the vassal no more and him one that sit in the Lord's chair mm -hmm. and him go rebel. Mm -hmm. So presumptuous and presumptuous get against the narcissist. Yeah, that's the hall of arrogance. And he's going to say he ain't change to one. Well, what does that soul, that, what kind of action that soul like? So There's his, no way, satanic action so like. his, way, his yeah. majesty yeah. go tell the Pope when he did go and eat him. No, I'm not going to say yet, Roger. I'm not going there yet. I'm sticking to where they tell them from Yasso. It's a 1935. Okay. When they violated his, right. his his borders and tried to steal his water hole right. at yeah. Walla Walla, right. and talk about a lie, I tell mm -hmm. with him say, well, "World, look what see the witness." Them say, "Not no gossip." Look like how far them come. Yeah, yeah. For the, so we know that the dragon is a the god is a liar too. Mm -hmm. You have to fit the description of who is in the middle of this World War II. Mm -hmm. So you can't the see that, serpent. you can't see the victory still you know, of His Majesty you know, because. These are what they didn't want the world to know what they have done. So they would have come and commit a crime and because of them vast power, there would be nobody there to tell True. the tales of mm -hmm. their wickedness. Mm -hmm. right? take, a, and take a story and run away. Right. You know, so the, the very just like that picture, just like that picture on the cover there yeah. with the with the beast and that surround right. Ethiopian that yeah area. these creatures yeah you come know. to take a spoil yeah. but here we are Roger His Majesty saying after I identify um, that Saint George did kill the dragon and he's the patron mm -hmm. saint of our army as well as that of our allies which means the British British yeah so he said let us unite with our allies in everlasting friendship and amity in order to be able to stand against the godless and cruel dragon mm. who has newly arisen and which is oppressing mankind. Are, are we standing with Haile Selassie? Are you, you said him dead and gone and we should forget it. Right. Who forsided that part? Mm. Long, it's, so it's, upon, it's upon that charge. They went out then, they went out then and all uh, the procedures begin to... Is there a turn against the Nazi force? Yeah, so whose side are we standing on? Are we them say Silasik, he fed his dog steel, oh, right, right. he fled the battle mm. and him, him dead and gone and we forget about it. That's mm. what certain people say. Mm. Right. The people who are saying that are they fighting against the dragon? Are they his friend? Are they highly yeah. Silas's friend? No, but when him friend said the dragon. Hey, who a friend you is? Yeah. So when him said the, the new him is in dragon. <laughs> This is after the war, him said this. This is right? when this, the, the, the May fascists 19, were defeated. Yeah, May 5th, oh, 1941. Right? Yeah. 5th of oh, May, okay. 1941. Yeah. See, where everybody has celebrate May Day. The dragon has you see, Putin celebrated May Day by showing military force. He didn't show this. Mm -hmm. no. Vladimir, Vladi. You should have saw this. Yeah. You should have saw this. Instead of, you know, new tanks and all of these things, you show this. And for us over here in the African world, when His Majesty said this was made under the Great Mercy Proclamation when he forgave his enemies. If you know where the dragon rampaged in Ethiopia, they killed, plundered, he, he blew from his nostril mustard gas, you know, like puff the magic dragon, you know. <sighs> yeah, right, right. Right, and killed people, civilians, and all of that, while the world <coughs> stood and watched. 
Them burn the burn villages. And watch burn villages. Yeah, with fire like that. It's burning burn people, people in there. You didn't even try to come burn up the Catholic kid on the wall. Mm, so if His Majesty wasn't that, victorious, yeah. would you have a Catholic kid on the wall, the Raja? Would you have a Amari prior well, book? Well, uh, yeah. Would you have a pri Amari? You would have, no, you'd have no, a Moses. No, no, no. 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 But, but, but the battle don't do it and, and, and a hot, a hot, a hot, a fire a come. So yeah, because His Majesty stayed the judgment, you know, when him forgave them, eh? He took that slap on the face. He, he did turn the yeah, other cheek. Enough yeah. people love to mock these things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In ignorance and darkness. He did, didn't he? Isn't, yeah, man, isn't he, forgiving. He, he surrender not evil for evil. You know? That's and, turning the yeah, other cheek. And right? what the enemies has done to us up and even that time and up until this time. You know, um, you know, we must. Yeah, that, that's our act. That's our act right there. Right. He forgave his enemies. Yeah. 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 We are, I'm, I'm yeah. forgiving yeah. any of my enemies, you know. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. saying yeah. to myself and say, well, who does, who, who forgives sins? Yeah. Well, that's how the enemy come confounded. Yeah. But who yeah. forgives sins? Well, that's how the enemy yeah. can't get confounded. Yeah, but who forgives God. sins? God forgives um, sins. Um, 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 only, only, Jesus only like the only one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Only. Yes. Well, in, in St. John's, after the religious ignorance was there and illiteracy, and um, Christ cleared it up, the religious authority said, but it's only God forgives sin. Yeah, yeah. And it's but them claim, yeah. same is just a man uh, and not yeah, God. Yeah, not God. Okay, uh, so, yeah, none of them. <laughs> so on the 5th of May, the Lion yeah. of the tribe of Judah yeah, forgave. forgave the sins of the world. Yeah. Yeah. That betrayed him, yeah, well, stabbed yeah. him in the back at the League of Nations. Mm -hmm. I wanted to mash up his Christian foundation, and he forgave them. Mm -hmm. So who forgives sins, yeah. especially of this magnitude? Mm -hmm. Of this magnitude, you think they're assaulting Christianity over here, just something just do and get away with it? You think the David Covenant God now go avenge that? No, yeah. it's, 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 I go them go, it's, it's like how the man go out and way and go a buffalo go kill the 11 black people then. I know, I know. I, I see me so them go out of them way when they go to Ethiopia. No, they don't. They didn't go out of their way. It was planned. No, it's a it plan. was plotted. Because David it said it in the They go out of them way for God to spend the place there. Yeah. And, and you see out. how them plan it. Yeah. They plan it. It's, it's they go out of them Weird. And they make the signature behind the back. Yeah, them plan it and go out of their way. No, but, I never but said it, them, I never but, said but, them but randomly. No, but Roger, but, but Roger, you know. hold on Roger, the, the Virgin just took us through how the war began. That's not his opinion still. No, no. no it's no, how no. the war began, he showed no. us. Mm -hmm. 1928, the Roman Catholic Church sent their emissaries there, right? to pay homage to the newly crowned king yeah. of Ethiopia, right? Negus Rastafari. Yeah. We have, the picture, we have the picture right there. Is hold on, hold on, hold on. They went there in 1928. Couple right, months, about six months after, not even a full year. In about June or so, 1929. Down in a room, them, them plot and choose and, pl and plan and prepare a table down there, right? Where three of them sit down down there in an unholy, as one quote and see, in an unholy alliance. Mm -hmm. And plot to go against that's that would have just made an, a pledge there to to the king who I mean, sat upon the throne of David. Right? Exactly. That kicked off the war. Yeah. 1933 them went and further make make the same conda that with Germany. Concordian, right? That set the backdrop for the for the violence in Europe. But as the, US, as the U.S. Army, Army team said, it began with Italy. It began with Italy yeah, and the fascists plotting to come to and ravage Ethiopia. Yeah. It was no secret. They were playing the clown business. And they were going to take over this, the world. Can you forget it clear still? Yeah. Let me tell you what I mean, guys, let me see. Hold on in the time to this thing. Of course. Let me tell you something. Because this thing is, 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 a, is a Britain who, who assists Eilis Selassie. When Theodore and Emperor and all them go against him, you know, and I see him, I see him and them go against him diplomatically, and then go out of them way with the same elephant. Because only the, the elephant could have carried them out of them way for which part them want to reach. I don't know where the elephant coming at this project. That is the elephant. Alright, hold well on, well on a minute. I want to read something where the 
Major General Wingate. Ever hear about Ordi Wingate? Mm -hmm. Okay. General England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, was, he became a major general of the British Army, the British Commonwealth Forces. So, okay. When um, Neville Chamberlain will betray Ethiopia, when his government fell in 9th of May 1940, right? The new government of Winston Churchill come in. So they meet His Majesty in the Sudan and Major General Wingate went to meet His Majesty with a message and part of the message is I bring you most respectful greetings sir and my personal admiration. In 1935, 52 nation let you and your country down. So you see, a lot of the propaganda where people are talking about, like, you know, His Majesty beg. <laughs> or it's yeah. even you. 62 US nations. Mm -hmm. the, the power seem to warn them from when they violated the borders in Wall Wall. All these information, that's why people, black people need to research before they run off the mouth about His Majesty and Christian Ethiopia. 52 nations let him let down Haile Selassie and the Ethiopian people, the Christian people. Right? So he said, that act of aggression led to this war. This one, World War II, the largest war in history. According to Matthew chapter 24. Okay? It led to this. It shall be the first to be avenged. And um, I came as advisor to you and your forces that will take you back to your country and your throne. Me, you see, uh, one of my cousins, uh, Agavia, oh, uh, uh, England put back yeah. to lost upon the throne. That, that's that sounds like that to you, Moses. I'm uh, just using the term uh, but, in the but, hell. But what I, what I want to say is, is consider yes. the nature of this man. Because the same way when they, they said the world wake up when Hitler went into Poland, you know. Then they remember Ali Selassie, you know. It is nothing like a Selassie go remember Asha, then I say, boy, I'm not going to check Asha. Then remember Ali Selassie, yeah. I'm going to cut him door. Just yeah. like where the bridge you read now. Yeah, that's what from you Major know. General Wingate. I didn't see it happen, what yeah. I'm saying about yeah. happen. So what manner of man is this? 52 nations down, let down Ali Selassie yeah, the first and, yeah, and Christianity out. Yeah, when they say your majesty are on your own at the League yeah. of Nations. Yeah, yeah. 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 them tell him to go go yeah, them run him away. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not, you know, that's what I'm going to run out. Soldier. Okay, so that was how the liberation began. So the fact that 52 nations let down Ethiopia, right. isn't that a shame? One man against you, you the think, world. You think so Ethiopia is just a peck a peck a nation? Right. Go to help in Ukraine now. Right. Yeah. And gain a good one set up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here is on the 5th of May, Major General Wingate saluted and toasted His Majesty. He said, I and the British officers under my command did our share in the campaign together with the patriots, with the knowledge the liberation of Ethiopia never come, England would never win anything. Right, right. You wouldn't have no D D. Right. Okay. So it kicked off the series of victories. Yes. Which led to Prokhorov, um, Prokhorov. It, yeah, well, this is in 1943 right. when them beat the Nazi over here. Because the dragon was beaten here, right. here. Yeah. So why is so only hurt. why is only in this um, uh, what you just said then um, events that this thing is mentioned? Yet it is the it is the root cause uh, of the problem worldwide too. But yet they bypass. Then, because if they just mention it a bit, people will maybe want to go dig a little bit deeper. So they keep Ethiopia name out of it. Yet she's the cause. They always talk about Germany, Hitler, all these things. Never mention. Um, you tell some people that is Ethiopia, they laugh. They don't know nothing that um, but Ethiopia was right, a cause. Of we'll, we'll be talking a minute, that's history. So right. in the League of Nations, there is 52 nations. How much nation are the United Nations? 170 or something, right? So when the when the United Nations feel Haile Selassie's disarmament plan, <laughs> did they did a hundred and odd nations again let down 
mm -hmm. him and his nation. Did, is that what happened with the UN? Mm -hmm. It happened in 1935. That's said right. Major General. So did it happen now when them? Of course, it's the same. Because thing. Ethiopia's role in the UN was disarmament, His Majesty. We know the speech and Bob Marley immortalized it in the music war. I heard that um, when he was speaking that speech, um, enough of the, these the powers got up and walk out. So, so, so you better be careful still because just like you make a, 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 a draw to that year, 1936, we know what happened there. When they said you prophesied, right? Mm -hmm. He yeah. told them there. He told there was even a clip where he told right. them say if the West doesn't come, right. uh, if, them, if my tardy allies doesn't come, I see without bitterness the West will perish. perish. Yeah. That's a long, that's a long going yeah, statement still, yeah. right? Then so I come through partially. 1939 and World War started there, but who's going who giving account now for what happened when the United Nations did that now? So they are in a problem. So you see what is no, hold on, hold on. You, show me, see, you see what happened 1936 when the Majesty gave them that three years after you see what happened, right? Yeah, so who's gonna pay for this now? Them better key for well, what, 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 what I wanted just bring, 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 no bring, forward, bring forward to this one time it was a religious thing based upon a region and the philosophy based upon religion. No, it is political and not only regional because when it was just East. Still religious, still. still it's religious. always religious. No, always. What, what, what really happened? The whole, the whole, the thing, holy war, the whole thing about democracy it and politics now in coinciding yeah. with the region. Democracy, Western philosophy, politics, and the whole of them now who, who is in alliance against Putin. Because right as I right, right, see through Finland and the other one, so they are going to go, go line up now. Putin kept going to blow on now because his intention was to regain all of what was lost. He kept not going to blow in a Roger. From them time now. Yeah. He kept not going to blow. He yeah. think he keep make the Western propaganda break on now and ahead. No, the Nazis it, are it, not going to defeat it, Russia. He's not. The Nazis are not going to defeat Russia. The Russia, the Russia George, you have to look at it from that perspective too. They're not going to win. It. At 0400 hours on the 22nd of June 1941, the maelstrom, which was Barbarossa, finally erupted. The German armies of the Blitzkrieg sliced through the Russian forces on every front. Faced by the results of his intransigent refusal to act, Stalin panicked. While his army headquarters desperately tried to piece together the most rudimentary picture of what was occurring, he ordered an immediate counteroffensive on all fronts. As the first reports of the devastation his own command had helped to create filtered through, he was shattered. All that Lenin created we have lost forever, he declared. He finally retreated to his dacha, not to emerge until the 3rd of July. While the German panzer division swept all before them, it was the head of the Eastern Orthodox Church, Metropolitan Sergei of Moscow and Kolumna, who filled the breach left by Stalin and addressed the nation in an impassioned plea for resistance. The times of Khan Bati, the German knights, Karl of Sweden and Napoleon are back. Our fathers never lost their hearts even under worse conditions because they thought of their sacred vow and not of personal dangers and profits. Let us live and fight to the glory of our ancestors and their glorious names, since we are kin to them in flesh and blood and belief. Let us remember the holy leaders of the Russian people, Alexander Nevsky, Dmitry Danskoy, who vouchsafed their souls for the sake of the people and the motherland. 
let us remember the innumerable thousands of soldiers. May their names be glorified. Not only did the Metropolitan Sergei fill the vacuum of leadership at the head of the Russian state, he also presented Stalin with a platform for encouraging the Russian people, which would serve him well throughout the war. While they might be lukewarm about the defense of the Communist Union of Soviet Republics, for the motherland, many would willingly suffer and die. Putin, write us, write, write us on us to Finland and the other one, so they are going to go line up now. Putin cap, we are not blue now because for him intention was to regain all of what was lost. Him cap now go blue in a Roger. From them time now. Him cap now go blue. Yeah. Think, you know, keep, make the Western propaganda break on now on the head. No, the Nazis it, are it, not going to defeat it, Russia. It's not. The Nazis are not going to defeat Russia. The Russia, the Russia George, you have to look at it from that perspective too. They're not going to win. It, that is why. No, they're uh, not uh, winning. No. But hold on a second. That no. is why when we're reasoning about the, these things, it's all biblical that's played out in man's uh, world. You, you, you. The Prokhorov field is a symbol of the courage of the Soviet soldier. In memory of the summer of 1943, they built a temple here of the apostles St. Peter and Paul. Inside it on the marble plates are the names of the warriors killed at Prokhorov. A few kilometers away from the temple, there is a bell tower of white stone. Every 20 minutes, three times an hour, the bell strikes loud. Each one of them is devoted to the memory of three great battlefields of Russia, Kulikovo, Borodin, and Prokhorov. There above are the words written in Old Slavic. It is a quotation from the Holy Scripture saying, There is no greater love than giving away your life for your friends. Is fire. Yeah, but the Bible tells us Putin. that these, this is what is happening, Putin. what we're seeing, Putin. but we just have to identify. Putin have the, la the largest stock of it. You understand? That is why it's and important for, and, and, for and, and, us and as for anybody to even to even educate for anybody even to entertain the thought of using this thing here. Plunging way gone back far way down from before even. So that means so no 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 let me let me so that means that they would have let down highly Selassie and Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah. Fair yeah. thing, them things are right. Remember the UN started up. You know? Yeah. Remember it started. Yeah. It started it's based on the principle that his majesty set right. by defending international law. Yeah. Right? The law of you know, just like what we read the major said. Yeah. Major Wingate said that. Mm -hmm. So no the UN have let down. Yeah, they have. Push so, on. so then why we know if you say him, him, him dead and gone and forget that? I don't buy propaganda. That is why I'm not coming off of this battle. Well, importantly, we well, have Saint to George won this yes. battle, Roger. Well, we know so the time we're living in to know is a time which part everything has a spin on it, and everything, especially with the cancer culture coming up now, all the things that the matter is true. So you know, so the Russian church was every, that place. Everything that was true has to become alive. And, and, yeah, and so you, you don't you know, you know so they're mashing up the Russian church them right. with them go over there. Right. Yeah. Right. The Orthodox Church. Right. 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 Mashing up Alexander that, that Pushkin. The significance yeah. is Alexander the Pushkin is the father of Russian Russian literature. So when the, the them ban the Russian language, is not fighting against Alexander Pushkin, the Ethiopian. The Ethiopian. They're, they're fighting against him, right? Fighting against his literature. Because it's probably more brighter than where them have in a dung this in a cave. They're fighting against his, his literature, right? Where, where the Lord sent Alexander Pushkin to upgrade the Cyrillic Orthodox Christian yes. speech. They're fighting against That's that, right? When them ban that. I want to mash up this. St. George who slew the dragon, the Nazi dragon, the Battle of Kursk. 
I don't buy propaganda. I'm on the side of Christian Ethiopia and I see what's going on in the world. Right? And so people don't really promote this education. Why is the reason why they don't promote it? Because part of the media celebration for His Majesty was when he says, um, when he quote the 68 Psalms, Zare, today is the day in which Ethiopia stretched forth her hands unto God. Mm -hmm. So him start out the Liberation Day speech. Eh? Yeah. Today is the day. Yet still people are saying it's not happening. But, but you see, too, again, there's another significant thing to where in showing you that it, it, it's time of Christ. Because Christ, they did ask him of what the sign of his coming and, and all these things, right? And him said, let not your rejoicing be in any other spirit than the spirit of Christ, right? So here, right there now, the whole Matthew and Mark, Luke and John come alive. You know, cause here is Christ. Here, you must remember if you read in your Bible, Christ, and that Christ and what Christ said this man would, would say about him. But uh, can I interject right? something? That is why when Mutabaroka, sorry, I want to call him that name, but when he said these things against sanctified things, who is he working? He's on the who serpent, he? he's on the cruel red is dragon side because he's not yeah. supporting the Bible, which is no. not right. his personal and goodness and experience and in. For right? the Christians, he was in the Okay, Roger, hold on there. Hold on there. Part of the mercy proclamation, you know. Extend to um, the VE day in, in Europe, which is also in May. Right. On that day, May 1945, His Majesty told this to the world. And even, you know, he says, part of the quote, no human lips can express the thankfulness which I feel to the merciful God who has enabled me to stand in your midst on this day of which the angels in heaven and the creation on earth could neither have thought of nor known. All right then, all right. Are you really listening to what His Majesty really saying, especially upon the last part? No angel in either. So I mean, it's, it's you know just just be listen some some word where you can't go around it still you know I hear no one speak like that you know but and and in not deal with it out of ignorance or you may you have I'll go search and find really and you have to be really biblical and and knowing that. It must be, must be God, man. It, you, at that time, it, you, it, was at a, it was at a point where everyone thought it was hopeless and mm, right. she was abandoned there. Right. So the 5th of May, 1941, when he said, Institute, the spiritual celebration of Christ, no angels never knew mm, that day. That, eh? No body upon earth. Uh, so how come it's only highly celestial right. know that day? Right, mm -hmm. right. How come him alone know that, that day? If the angels in heaven where everybody are make, you know, make intercession, they never know about the Ethiopian Liberation Day. And here's what he said, furthermore, just one more thing. What I would finally announce to you, my people, is that today is a day of rejoicing for us all. Today is a day in which we defeated our enemy, that is the cruel godless dragon. He defeated him. The dragon is dead. Yeah. Therefore we celebrate, therefore when we celebrate, let us all rejoice with our hearts. Let's not rejoice, mm -hmm. let not our rejoicing be in any other way but in the spirit of Christ. So when Muta and the whole of the rest of man them then who now respect um, Christ? They're antichrist. Yeah. Because their enemy, mm -hmm. their enemy was defeated on this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. The and the Egyptian, and Egyptian and them um, Afrocentric and, 
who fight the Bible and them, yeah. those Bible haters. Yeah, they they were defeated yeah. on this day because they're not celebrating in the spirit mm -hmm. of Christ. So the spirit they were celebrating yeah. at them. You know, they must the demons. The, yeah, the one who, yeah, that was Christ. defeated yeah. on yeah. this day. They must the demons, yeah. man. Yeah, the cruel His Majesty is seated Roger. One more time. Yeah, man, that's some description serious. of the enemy defeated um, mm -hmm. is the he calls it the um, the godless and cruel dragon. And if we read Revelation 12, I'll show you the boy Aguan wanna kill a woman and his child. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the man child. Yeah. So he says, land. "Do not reward evil for evil." Do not indulge in the atrocities which the enemy has been practicing in his usual way, mm -hmm. even up to the last moment. Right. Take care not to spoil mm -hmm. the good name mm -hmm. of Ethiopia yeah. by yeah. acts which are worthy of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Lord God, when we look at the war of war, mm -hmm. you know, we, we don't get involved yeah. still, yeah. but it's not is that, like, is that really enemy. taking yeah. care of the name? They have soiled the name of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah, they're going to tell us if it's mine, we want business. Them cast his word behind this them. is my business. Because we are Ethiopians yeah, too. His Majesty told us we are Ethiopians. Yeah, he told the Bowl and the Raja. Black people are. I grew up from, from my 18 year old, I read in Isaiah 20, say, our people out here, the one for the, the, the slave trade we're describing in Isaiah, where when redemption comes, they're ashamed and afraid of Ethiopia. So they don't respect the name either. You as a raster know where you go talk about Ethiopia, you see them fling you out of the house, right? My parents then fling me out of the house. When I'm throwing my red, gold and green. So they don't respect the name. They don't revere the name of Ethiopia. So here is Majesty telling the native Ethiopians to take care not to soil the name of Ethiopia. They have soiled the name. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that they haven't soiled the name. I'm not interfering in their politics or anything. But the 68 Psalms is our Ethiopia, which we share with Haile Selassie. That's where we're Rastafarians. Okay? They need to understand that. Everybody needs to understand that. But the name of Ethiopia is soiled. Not by us. We never soil the name of Ethiopia. We're praising the name. And I try to keep off the dirt off our name. Yes. And the more we are scrub and all I get Mr. Clean involved, uh, yeah, let them throw more dirt yeah, on our name. Your best to be praised, man, on so who soiled the name? No, the serpent soiled the name. Mm -hmm. He soiled their name because his majesty up to the last minute of defeat. Him still a cruel, him still a destroy, him still a burn, him still a loot. Mm -hmm. He was still killing the people. He hated instruction, man, and cast the He was still burning church up to the last minute. Mm -hmm. He was killing people with pickaxes and, and clubs. So mm -hmm. he said the Lord turned him back. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so dear, dear, yeah. Bhutas arm and the and Bible people, they were defeated on this day. Yeah, man. Yeah. I want that speech because, you see, you know, sometimes you hear something, you know. You hear it a lot of time, you know, but there comes a time when you hear it again. It's sinking. And it's sinking and it makes so much because mm -hmm. what spirit are they meditating in? The one if, it's not the, if it's not the spirit of Christ. According to his imperial majesty, Baraile Selassie. What you see? And well, and the Raja, that come from Mat from Romans chapter 8. So you see, the, the apostle Paul, they tell that to Mussolini, daddy, them from them time there. Mm -hmm. You understand? Who I'm saying come for, him come for take them seat again. Yeah. Because that him make a bow, sir. Yes, he must speak in true then. So, so you understand the Bible now? The New mm -hmm. Testament, Gospel, why Paul journeyed to Rome? Mm -hmm. And now Rome come attack. The, you know, the, the Christian foundation as if they are more Christian than her. Yeah. Mm. A pedophilia, pedophilia institution cannot be over Christian Ethiopia. I know you have enough Ethiopians that are Catholic and mm. enough African who are Catholic, right, but you know, right. they are living in a dreamland. Right, right. It will, it's not going to work. That right. is why it, it intrigues me to, 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 to want to find out what is it that His Majesty was telling the Pope when he go around Rome because that, that I think we have the full that one that visit, is in 68 Psalms. I would have loved to see that transcript. Of victory. What was okay, being said. Okay. Yeah, the court. When he did yeah. visit the Pope at Rome, because I tell you, say, you could have seen in all of his majesty's time I come forth, you could have seen the lion come out in him. Just at that visit. I mean, you, you could see. 
do. Well, him actually tell him to come back to the Christian faith. Right. That's what he told the Pope. Yeah. Come back to the, the Christian faith, not no Ghana church or born again. And, and, they are, that. and that they are responsible for world peace. Yeah. You know, the world is not at peace now, so who is responsible for that? Hey. Okay. Let me tell you something, man. Let see what come in. I mean, also, Let me see what come in, too. I mean, also, I mean, also, you see the food? The food shortage, we're going to bring the people them high rates to the, to the level of foundation which part it there. Because for them foundation is stock market and everything else, apart from which part the bottom line there, which part is your source of your sustenance. Them can't be the issue at, 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 at the least. Them can't be the issue that was at the League of Nations, which them still have to hold a responsibility to. Right? Because when His Majesty got up in the, in the United Nations and spoke, in, in that capacity they being the, the sole one that uphold the covenant which they broke right he won that right and it's by divine as he said to them in, a, in, in another speech it's by the divine significance them for mark the divine significance of this oh no how do you take that how do you how do you account for that in your parliament the main defiance dread Mm-hmm. That's all I can tell you still. Mm-hmm. So how oh, 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 the month of May should have been celebrated? Did we go you know, fling stone in the New York Pieries and all them things there? Eh? Hey, it's a cruel month this year now. No, uh, well, uh, you know, in this month it fall, you know, Ginbad fall on me here. So it's a remorse, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's part of the mercy, it's come, come right in at the mercy proclamation. So what would, should we be celebrating? Ethiopia um, in, the spirit, in the spirit of Christ. In right. the spirit of Christ. That's right. But I, I and because him say, his majesty in no other wise. It is never, it is never to use the name Jesus. No, that's not. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go into that around there. Come, let us celebrate the spirit. Oh, what is the spirit Christ? of Christ? Oh, no, Jesus Christ. Huh? No, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah what is the no spirit of Christ? Christ? Huh? In the spirit of Christ, Jesus Christ. Does Christ have any other spirit but the, in the spirit of Christ, Jesus Christ? So that's it. All right. Mm. No contradiction, dear. Mm-hmm. Mine in a Roger. No, but you, you, you see, you see, you, you see, two of them usually used together normally. Jesus. Not all the time. Jesus Christ. No, or Jesus the Christ. Jesus. So, Jesus. So, or sometimes it said Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Do you, I read the Bible too. Yeah, but 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 this this is this is the Christ is saying this now, you know. So when he is saying it, we know that the word Jesus. Not the word. It's the name. The name Jesus. The definition of it is is the Lord. God. Jesus is Lord. That but is it what means God as well. Well, well, it's God. It's, it's God was saying this now. Who is? No, God? The, it's the Lion of Judah. It's said the Lion of Judah, who have the name of the Father, Son, and Holy yeah, Spirit. What is he? Must, is he's he never, telling you? Yeah, is he never did use Jesus? He said he must use Christ. So what's what is, what's the point? So I am saying now that. No, no, but Roger also, you remember, <laughs> to be in the first first dispensation, when he went into the synagogue, he declared who he is without he, even saying who he is, and they knew who he was. was. Romans 8 is a you see, they have to learn, they have to understand how the Trinity speaks. Yeah, exactly. that's why they didn't understand how Jesus is speaking when yeah. them saying, Who is the Father? Show and me the Father. Yeah. Just to take and time all. and understand how He speaks. Sometimes yeah. you hear we, yeah, sometimes you hear I. I yeah. It's the same person coming up from the same person. We, yeah. we, highly Selassie, I, highly Selassie, and when showing I, the power yeah. of His Trinity. Here, here is where the gospel yeah. coming from. That's it. Here, here's where the gospel coming from. Shut up, please. Romans chapter 8. Roger. Here's where the gospel coming from, Roger. Romans chapter 8. Scofield put a title, Conflict of the Spirit with the Flesh. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit yes, yeah. for to be carnally minded is death yeah. but to be spiritually minded is life, life. and peace mm-hmm. because the carnal minded is 
enmity against God. Yeah, for it is not uh, subject to the law of God, right. neither indeed can, can be. be. So they that are in the flesh cannot please God. God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. And if so be the spirit of God dwells in you. Mm -hmm. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, mm -hmm. he is not of his. Right. Yeah, so he didn't right. say Jesus here too, right? Right. right? No, it's a virgin. Why a lot of people get tangled up? Right, right. And I want to go on the Jesus Christ is the power of the Holy right. Trinity. Right. The name first of yes. He gave the name mm -hmm. after his resurrection right. from the dead. The dead. Mm -hmm. Right? The, mm -hmm. the Tinsai or Tinsahe. Right? I like to call it Tinsahe because I like to pronounce the last letter Hamos. Yeah. Hamos, like we married, Hamos is safe to sell us in. Hamos is Jesus Christ. Right? He is the Holy Trinity. This is why Thursday is the holiest day. Right? And it's him wear the triple crown. Well, the, uh, the Holy Trinity name translated you know, is Haile Selassie, and it means power of the Trinity in English. Uh, it's uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I, you might not agree with anybody else. Yeah. You might not agree with me too, but right there, Haile Selassie come right out because all power, power greetings, mean highly. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Just spread up. <laughs> yeah, not, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Yes, but that would be more time, uh, you know, I don't get, that's why I don't reason, because you see all in the 12th tribe of Israel, Raja? Yes. Appear them argument, um, people so. still don't understand. Just like how them used to reason with about the comfort of the come. Everybody has talked about the comfort, but when it comes to identifying yes. who comforted you, Right, the man well, comforted is Christ, and they are not problem with who the comforter is. Now, when I read Revelation 5 and look at the situation of the world according to this painting in the um, Ethiopian Cultural Center, you see, this painting shows the apocalypse era. You see, we go through it already. Now, a world like this, who is going to comfort it? Don't Revelation 5 says, We not right. behold the line of the tribe of Judah. If you lack of a better description, isn't that your Kleenex box to dry the tears? Isn't, isn't that what the, the, what the tissue, what the comfort saying, tissue the himself not. to dry your tears? Yeah, yes. Yes. Isn't that what he is? Mm -hmm. yeah. if you know yeah. too heavy or... There is hope and assurance. So which other comfort are they look for? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I used to hear them reason, you know. Yeah. And Gadman say and all of the these things. And they, they didn't the make answer, sense. Yeah. They gone off a track. The person of we the not behold you know, is the line of Judah dry the tears yeah. if you have the feet. Right. If you miss the you know the Kleenex box, you know. <laughs> are you gonna dry your tears? You saw you saw you saw the whole thing come up though. It come up with all the leaders that might come still never even know half of the fullness. Or even a quarter of the, or, or the no, halfness. I wouldn't really say the leaders <laughs> did. Disobedient to you know. I wouldn't People not me, believe I the truth here. The truth no, is okay, the truth. Okay, man, you know the Bible still, you know. But man, a man knows no, the no, Bible. No, no, but is it knowing the Bible or you are recognizing Psalm 68, which I've come to understand means is the call of the children. No, people, you know, no, people so don't see it as resurrection and redemption and victory. Well, no, too bad for them. And, and they, and That's they, why when them put down the Bible, it's not a good thing because it's the Bible And them still, are, and still in the Bible what they just don't know. Right, so go read. It's not for everyone, you know. But I shall have you said that. It's just not for everyone. <laughs> I shall have you said that. The part which we're dealing with here is the matter of clear conscience. Like yeah. It's yeah. not the part of where, where you know, we, we're measuring yeah. your knowledge, yeah. we're measuring how, how bright you are, how yeah. much you know. We're <laughs> hold on, we're measuring what, you know, the state of your conscience. Is your conscience clear with this truth? Yeah. This revealed fact here, that's all we're getting at. Yeah. Is it not so? See the monument here, St. George, the Ethiopian patron St. Yeah, George the first time myself. Hmm? His Majesty emblem this in a Ukraine, defeated where the Nazis were defeated. Nazis with name like um, it says Totenkov, the Death Head, Lee Standart, and you know um, <laughs> Dash Reich, Hitler Jung. I'll be telling you before we we cut in. I work with a German soldier, you know. 
and through him know so many, him get to know so many know the war. And I start asking him questions and one day I make him lift up him foot on Because he used to drive uh, the, one of the, um, the pickup van them. And him look and put up him big foot on the side with these, bo these boots march through Russia. And I say, oh yeah, that's a, did, didn't you fled Russia too? <laughs> Anytime I mention st any German, way, just, just, just mention Stalingrad, I see from Nogoso. You see, from you see the Battle of Stalingrad, I'll show you an Ethiopian connection again. The Battle of Stalingrad. Is magic. When, when the German them were lost Stalingrad, the Sixth Army lost, His Majesty sent a battle shield mm -hmm. to Stalingrad. Mm -hmm. A battle shield from the Emperor of Ethiopia. It's on film. Mm -hmm. If you watch the Battle of the Volga. Yes, yeah, so who won the battle then? Yeah. St. George's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's my so Yeah, this is um, a monument to St. George's victory. Under the U.S. is St. George slaying the dragon. It's in the Ukraine, yeah. Oh. On the side, the Donbass yeah. the side. Up there, um, I hope I have my geography correct. But it, it was celebrated, um, erected up there in Prokhorovka, which is a, a area in the area of Kursk. If you want the battle of Kursk, I know bitter that battle was. Mm -hmm.